What's up guys, Awesome Richo here, back again playing on Ark Survival Evolved on the Ragnarks, just hanging out in a waterfall here, just getting my griffin a little bath. Oops, hit the wrong button. There we go. Um, so I'm just over here today. T today, let's see, I did get the Doe Diggers Tamed Up update from last time, so it's over in the base, no longer in there. But today is upgrade time, so today I'm going to be turning at least this work or workshop warehouse whatever you want to call it into metal so i'm going to get um prob i can't decide if i want to turn these foundations in the metal or if i want to leave them because i like the look of like concrete and then i want to turn these into the uh metal railings because i like the look of the metal railings and so i'll see how they look on there if i like the design if not i'll switch this to metal as well but i've got to get some mini paste i do have some here you know like some there and everything and so i need to gather up a lot more so i need to do that i did have a bunch of crafting in here but yeah i have a couple stacks with more chitin so i need can turn that into but i'm gonna go beaver hunting so i'm going to get some beaver gonna get some more metal loaded up into the furnace here i have a lot but i want to keep it stocked up for sure um, so I'll take the Anki and do that, and so I'll go get some mini paste of metal, and I'll be back, and we'll start building the workshop. Okay, so I got a bunch of some mini paste all gathered up, as you can see here. So I just cleared out all the beaver dams I could find, and I got a lot of some mini paste, as you can see. It's silk pearls, rare flowers, mushrooms, all that sort of stuff. I did get attacked a bunch, and so I broke a lot of my armor, so I will have to fix that. And then I don't think I had, oh, just a bunch of the pelt from the beaver, which I need because I got some of the, oh shoot, I knew that was going to happen. Yes, no more following me. And I got my new gun here, my new pistol. Um, it doesn't do too good. I mean, it. Um, it's supposed to do more damage than like the, uh, whatever you call it, the um, long neck rifle. So, I don't know. I just tried using it and I crafted up some bullets. It did about 132 damage on the beavers. I don't know if that's good or bad. Um, I don't really know. But let's just unload all of this cementing paste into the, whatever you call it here, the... Uh, crafting station so we have a bunch of mini paste now I do believe we need yeah definitely some more metal um, I got a bunch of stuff on me let me get rid of this real quick okay so I got everything put away and I did fix up my armor real quick and so I'm gonna go ahead in here and craft up let's go into metal let's see how much everything costs metal foundations how many can I make 24 um, let me go ahead and make the railings, which I do need a lot of railings because I'm planning on doing something with them. So let's just go and yeah, I just craft up all these railings and wait for those to craft up. Okay, so everything is all crafted up. So let's go ahead and place stuff back. So I did craft a dino door here just to replace a metal one to replace everything with. So I'll put one on each side real quick. And then I, so I just went and took down everything, just demolished it, because I don't need all that stone and wood really anymore. Um, there we go. So I got the doors, those doors. Obviously, I don't put doors in them. But let's go ahead and start placing now. And like, oh shoot. Let's go ahead and pick out the. There we go. Good thing I have this thing on me. And I'm just gonna build this all the way up. I don't know exactly how high, like, um, I never finished doing the other one because I kind of want it as high as the door. Oops, wrong thing. Uh, but I'll just have to see, obviously, how much stuff because it'll obviously take a lot to craft all of this stuff up because it already took a whole bunch of items already. But I want to just do the metal here first um, at the bottom and then see how it looks and decide if I then want to leave it as stone because like I said I wish there was a concrete look because I like the look of the concrete with this uh, railing or like metal and concrete just like in real life I like that sort of look but I don't know if I want to leave it I actually do kind of like that because I just like the difference like the look of everything with it being different um, I did craft a hundred, so I do have obviously a lot more than this to go off of. But I love this the look of these metal railings just because of the cage look that it gives. And that's why I like, so you can still see out and everything, but you have the cage, like, defense protection. Not that I need to protect the workshop, I just think it looks cool. Uh, let's go with one more, see how high that is. Yeah, that's like perfect. So like I said, there's no real point of building it that high. Like, it's not like it's gonna... 
defend from anything but I just think it looks super cool that's why and I would love to put like the hatch frames on just on top just you know to make it sort of like a ceiling but I don't know exactly how uh, to do that like I don't know what the sizings are because obviously I have a four white here and I don't have no clue what the size the hatch frames are um, yeah, let's go ahead and continue this all along here and then with this being S plus railings and everything you can snap uh, ceilings to them um, which is really cool so I can do that if I want gosh I just love the way this looks so much so I will continue doing this craft up and at least get it all built up that high um, oh I also do have I just whistled okay I whistled you um, have some metal ramps here so I'll just go ahead and replace oh shoot I only made two I forgot this is four so let me craft up two more real quick here let's go with metal ramps where are ramps at there it is metal ramp craft two more because we need two more okay two more ramps so I'm going to just place them on this side real quick even though I don't know why I have ramps at all especially over to this side because there's nothing going on um, again hitting the wrong thing I will go ahead and keep these ramps just in case oh shoot I guess I had more than that there let's just get rid of that and then we'll place the ramp down there wrong button again and that one I'll just jump up for now so I need eight eight ramps maybe I don't know but I'm gonna finish crafting everything up yeah it looks like multiple ramps there crafting everything and you know building it all around here so I will bring it back once I get this all done build up okay so everything is all crafted now at least I hope so so I placed the last one there so we got all the walls built I just think this looks so cool it's like a giant cage um, but let's go so I did make some lights to place I don't know I want to place them up here but I don't know if I'll be able to reach them up there hopefully I get oh that's not even sitting on the thing okay we'll go ahead and take that down um, I'm just hitting all the wrong buttons here still wrong buttons okay I don't know exactly I guess maybe in the middle like I had it before would be a good spot for it or something I don't know um, I think it was right above the boxes here so let's see if I can play um, maybe we'll do it here because I am going to be switching out those box things um, let's go ahead and place it and then rotate it a little like that yeah and it's actually on the thing now so let's see if we can get up here and reach it okay we'll do settings oh gosh all sorts of settings um, I actually probably just leave it um, I guess just how it is and then so if we're here we just go where's this? so it's right on this line here so we'll go across and place the other one I assume it's up here somewhere rotate to straighten it out and there we go so I assume that we're about the same okay so now let's put some ceilings up on the thing here like I said I wasn't gonna I didn't really want to enclose it but I think oh, that's not I'm gonna have to get the RG to get these the place but I think I'm gonna try some I'm gonna try and use the hatch frames still pulling out all the wrong guns and so let's fly over here let's get the ceiling out and then we'll exit so we don't fly anywhere of course now we can probably there we go and hopefully they're all facing the same direction yes so now we can come up here and land have a little landing spot and so I have the behemoth gates we'll go ahead and place them on seven here the hatch frame so I'll do one like that hope yeah that looks right so then we got the hatch frame. I don't have the door um, let's see then I think if I do it on this side as well 
Oops, wrong, wrong button. Oh, let's. Oh shoot! Of course, all the troubles of building an arc. You have all the placement issues. There we go. Now let's fly out the door here and see if I'll. The other behemoth gate will fit in here, which I believe it should. Yes, that's exactly what I thought. And then we have a spot in the middle there. Okay, yes, so I need four more uh, wall thingies, or ceilings, wall things. So we'll go to the middle, just craft up. Ooh, oh, I thought that said four. Four more ceilings, and we'll place them right in the center, and we'll be good. Um, I don't. I think the doors are really expensive, so I may have to wait on those. Let's go ahead and look at them. Well, it shows I can craft three right now. Um, I don't really need them. It's just kind of designed, but I think I may just leave it open. You just have as flying spots, and then this is if I want to later on, I can put them in. Again, I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. So let's go place the ceilings. Oh snap. I just wasted one. Let's go ahead and, oh no. Do the whole circle around and we'll land. And place the ceiling. There we go. So it is all done now. So the workshop is complete. Like I said, I can put the doors in here if I want. But um, as of right now, I won't. Uh, I think that looks so cool. So we got it all complete. And the last thing, I think it's in here. Yes, I have a vault. I want to build another one. Um, I think I'll just start it, placing it down here. Oh, shoot. I forgot the bird's still on follow once again. I forget the follows all the time. There you go, stay there. So let's see. Oh, it's so tiny. Oh, I forgot this is S plus, whereas the little tiny vaults, I completely forgot about that. Okay, um, uh, I wish I could. Let's go ahead and see if I can pick up all this stuff. Can I move still? No, I cannot. Um, pick, pick, pick up. There it is. Pick up the d box and let's see. <laughs> Oh goodness, this is not going to work at all. Nope. Okay. Um, RG, come here, save me. Can I reach the fabricator? Nope. Okay, I'm just going to have to drop a bunch of stuff. What's super heavy? Oh, probably these. Uh, let's see if I can type in stone and we'll just drop all of that stuff there and hopefully that still does not allow me to move um, let's go back and we'll go with what else is heavy super heavy that's weighing me down um, I don't see anything besides these railings we'll go ahead and drop those as well there we go now I can move and we'll go ahead and pick them up and I'm still not close enough to the RG, of course. Okay, so I got everything put in the bird. So let's go ahead and place this right next to the f uh, fabricator here. Oh gosh, I can't even see. Let's pull it a lot closer, I guess. And pull it even closer. There we go. Oh shoot, I'm inside of it now. There we go. Need to turn a little. Uh, that looks awesome and it looks like we're going right next to the fabricator and there we go so we got it placed okay so now we have a storage vault with a bunch of spots and I can move everything back into now and so I think that's pretty much gonna be it I don't know what else I did switch all this out for metal as well and I put more ramps on the front of the greenhouse and I don't 
know what else there is to do today i think that's probably it for this episode like i said i went out on the griffin and killed a bunch of beavers got a whole bunch of smitty paste as you saw in the fab or the crafting station so i got a whole bunch of stuff there then i gathered more metal and was able to build this cage and again we can put the behemoth or hatch behemoth gates or whatever from the s plus up there if we want to at some point I would like to craft another one, even though this has 600 spots. So I doubt I'll fill all that up, but I can move stuff from the house and everything out here as well. Um, and I think that's... I don't know what else we can do out here. Like, I pretty much got everything out here. Just more vaults and storage is pretty much all it is. Um, it's not much more, like, equipment or anything to put out in here. And I'd like to get more of these things just to fill up right in here just to light up. I think it'd be cool. But I think that's going to be it for the episode today. I hope you enjoyed this. Of just uh, advancing in like metal and stuff on the uh, workshop here. And I do plan on doing this in the base. Um, just like a, um, just some heads up information or whatever. I do plan on taking instead of just like the building over there. The dino you know barn or whatever. I just stand on play, taking foundations. You know making like an X or the um fence foundations making like a square is what i meant out why i said x and then just putting some of these metal railings up and like caging stuff off and just putting dinos in that instead of a building because i don't like the building looks too much but i like this whole look and like putting dinos in cages and stuff so that i will continue on that so i hope you enjoyed this episode like i said um if you did let me know in the comments down below and don't forget to, get to subscribe to see more arc videos and we will see you next time <laughs>